hello friends this is Jafar Abbas today I am back again with a new video and today I will show you how you can make an axe in 3ds max so let's get start so first of all I am taking a box let's take a box I'm creating the shape now I'm setting the parameters I'm taking the width of 10 cm and a height of 8 cm now I'm going to convert the object as editable poly I'm selecting the polygon I'm going to apply some extrude on it shift it to the right on X axis apply some rotation now I'm going to select the edges from all four sides to select the edges from all four sides you will have to press alt R now I'm applying chamfer on it increase the segment to 4 and increase the value to 3.5 press ok I'm going to decrease the size little bit now select these two vertices and push them slightly back on Y axis now select the other two vertices and deselect the first two and push them on Y axis Now I am trying to give a nice shape to the uh, wood of axe. Now I am going to connect these two vertices. Also, I'm connecting these two vertices. Now, also select these two vertices and connect them. Select these vertices and drag them forward. Now I'm going to create the other part. I'm taking box again. I'm creating the shape here. Align it to the wood. Convert it as editable poly. select the polygon I'm going to scale it on Y axis apply extrude here and on the other side select polygon apply scale on Y axis to increase the width now I am going to select the polygon from top and bottom and apply a bit of extrude on it Now I am going to apply some loops here. I am going to this modeling section and then going to edit and select swift loop. And I am going to insert two loops in the middle. Mm -hmm. 
make slight adjustments. Now I'm going to select the vertices. and push them on Y axis. Repeat the same thing to the other side as well. Now select the four outer vertices. and just drag them on x-axis Now select the polygon and squeeze it. Now I'm again selecting uh, the swift loop. I am inserting a loop in the middle. Select the edge. Uh, drag it inside on Y axis. Now I am applying the chamfer on it. Increase the segments to 4. Now I'm going to use the target weld option to unite the vertices. Right click select the target weld. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to insert uh, a loop here. Select the edges. I'm inserting a connect here. Now select it. I'm going to apply a chamfer on it. It, press R, drag slightly in the upward direction. Now select the entire surrounding. Select the entire surrounding from top and bottom. Make sure you selected all the required edges. Now I am applying chamfer here.
let's clear some of the unwanted vertices if required. I am going to select it by polygons and I am going to apply auto smooth on it. Clear all and auto smooth. Now I am inserting some loops on the corners. I am selecting the sweep loop. To make it smooth, I am applying Turbo Smooth. Now I am going to apply chamfer here as well. You cannot directly select the edge outline here so first select the polygon then uh, press the control button and click on the edge uh, to select the entire edge and then apply the chamfer on it. Select the vertices and you can connect them. Select the polygons from the top and convert them as edge selection. Now apply the chamfer on it. Now I'm going to apply the material on it. Let's apply the material. Press M to open the material window. On uh, this diffuse, I am going to apply the material of a wood. Apply the material, make it visible on viewport. I'm now applying uh, the UVW map.
now I'm going to apply the material of steel on the axe I'm taking a built-in material uh, saved in uh, Max increasing the size of the top a little bit I want to further increase the size Now I'm trying to add some uh, more roughness on the wood so uh, for that I'm using a modifier I'm using a hair and fur modifier here I am reducing the hair count and I'm reducing the scale here to 10 I'm making the root thick and tip thick to 2 here you can check some roughness is added here a little bit of size need to be increased Now you can see this is more of a uh, homemade kind of uh, axe. This is completed now. Dear viewers, thank you for watching my video. If you like the video.